Good day everyone, it's Chris Jermaine, and no, you are not seeing double. Well, you might be. Um, some of you are probably thinking, Chris, why are there two TS9s in front of me? This uh, doesn't make any sense, maybe you lost your mind. No, no, they are in fact different. And no, one is not an original from the 80s or anything like that. These are both kind of newer, actually, uh, except the one on the left. The one on the left is... Um, it was actually from the 90s. But um, what makes them different, you ask? Well, the one on your right is just a regular TS9 tube screamer made at the Ibanez factory um, in Taiwan. I believe it was in Taiwan when that was made. Uh, the one on your left was actually made in Japan at the Maxon factory as a special release. Um, it's kind of a reissue. So it's an actual reissue pedal. So this is the Maxon Ibanez Tube Screamer. This is the TS9 uh, Tube Screamer. But it's interesting because this has the, uh, the JRC whatever 4558 chip. And this has a TA chip in it. Now, I know I... Don't prescribe to the belief that the chip matters, uh, personally. But we're going to find out today because it's Tube Screamer versus Tube Screamer. And, um, yeah, so we're going to see. I'm going to play some lead stuff. We're going we're gonna to dime it. We're going to try to dial everything in exactly the same. So right now i got everything as close to uh, dead center as possible. And uh, so we're going to try just a regular Tube Screamer first. I'm playing a Gibson Classic. It's a Fender Viva Champ. And uh, play a little E minor pentatonic, shall we? So, uh, and uh, Juice Screamer.
try one with the drive down, level all the way up. Here's a sound I really like. I like uh, I like to take a tone knob all the way down. Can I get some? Oh, super tough thing. They're both really, really good. Um, you know, they're both, they got their own quirks to them, you know, um, turn the treble up a little bit, maybe a little, a little drive here, you know, and kind of see what type of rhythms I can get. Uh, but. <laughs> me want to play a little bit differently i don't know why it just does i just i feel like i have um a little bit more of a sense of style with it uh just from the speaker sitting here um but this guy i mean it's still i mean it's still a ts9 it still sounds great 
But uh, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, so, again, just a regular Tube Screamer TS9. You know, made in Taiwan. Nothing wrong with it. And then the uh, Maxon with the Maxon chip and everything in it. Um, but in my opinion, both sound great. And uh, so uh, price difference, you know, probably about 40 bucks. It's not much. Um, you know, I saw one on Reverb Day. They were trying to sell it for 200 for the, the reissue. Um, you know, you can get 70 bucks all day used. Um, and sometimes cheaper. Anyways, uh, until next time. Uh, God bless, and I'll see you later.